Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. My name is Tamara Renee. That's Tamara with three A's, no E. As you can see by the title of today's video, it is all about this eyeshadow look. Y'all, I used Danessa Myrick's eyeshadow palette to help create this look. This is called the Lightwork Volume 6 Freedom Palette. The colors in here are just gorgeous. They are out of this world so beautiful and I really had some fun like this is giving me pumpkin I don't know I just feel like a pumpkin spice <laughs> that's the kind of vibe this look is giving me but I really really love it and I love how the makeup itself turned out as well I started dabbling back to my OG makeup products because I've been dibbling and dabbling in some new products and honestly as good as they are, they just don't hit the way I want them to. But my makeup these days from using the OGs, it's been eating, it's been eating. But I will have everything I used in today's video down in the description box below as always. So if you wanna see how I achieved this makeup look, you can achieve it too, just follow along, keep on watching. All right, you guys, this video I am super duper excited about because we will be working with the Danessa Myrick's newest eyeshadow palette. This is called the Lightwork Volume 6 Freedom Palette. I want it to focus so you guys can see. I was over the moon when I got her, okay? Let me show y'all the inside, like, spectacular. I really like the packaging of this. It's a magnetic type of eyeshadow palette. Hold on, focus, focus. I think it's too bright, isn't it? Anyways, okay, I had to darken, take down the ISL to show you guys, but this is what the palette looks like. It is absolutely gorgeous, okay? I love every single shade in here, and it is going to pop on melanated skin. So with this eyeshadow palette, like I said, it is a magnetic, stackable, customizable type of palette. And I really love the idea of this. So as you can see, this is what it looks like, right? Let me show y'all something. The cover of this palette, this part right here, you guys see that scoop? Yeah, I'm gonna take this piece out. Girl, if my nail would allow me to. <laughs> All right, so this is the inside of it right here. I assume this is a mirror. I believe it is a mirror, but I don't wanna take off that coating yet, um, that peel. But when you guys look at the palette, you guys can see the same pop area right here. I don't want to mess up the palette. Let me just pop one side out. Like it's really easy to pop it out, right? Easy to pop it out, stackable, customizable. You will take this piece here and just place it on top. And now you can take this palette on the go. Instead of carrying this, Danessa, girl, hold on. Let me take out another one. It's very easy to take out. Don't wanna mess up. Don't wanna drop these. And then just put it on top. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So if you are going on vacation, you can just pack this just like this and put it in your makeup bag. Like, oh, so innovative and I love it. Let me take the third one, stack it on top. So now we have all three stacked together. I I love it. I absolutely love this idea. Like it is so convenient and it's just a girl's, a makeup girlie's dream, okay? Look at this. I got all the shades and I could, hmm. For today's eyeshadow look, y'all, I'm, I'm feeling the warmth, I really am. I think I'm gonna go with this section right here. This is what I feel like working with. Today, I think I'm gonna go in with the orange. This palette, this section right here, that's what I'm gonna go with. That orange is calling my name, okay? Calling my name. So I'm going to put the rest of the palette away. 
Let me just take this top piece. Again, so freaking cute. So this is the palette that I'm gonna work with today. I'm really feeling the orange vibe. And oh my gosh, it is stunning. Ooh, girl. I can see myself playing with this shade and this shade. I'm probably adding this on top and like this and we're gonna have fun. This is the shade that I wanna work with. I want, I need my camera to focus. Are you guys seeing that? Oh my goodness. Let me try this one right here. So pretty. Put that beside it. Oh, do you get, oh, Danessa girl. This is a green one. You know, it's funny because it also looks like it's blue. Go ahead and apply this one here. Look at that. Are you guys seeing that? That's the shade right here. Oh my God. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so as you can see, my eyebrows are done, um, but I didn't prep my skin. Today, I'm just gonna go in with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. My Bobbi Brown is done. Um, I did go in with my moisturizer though. This is from La Roche-Posay, I know it's very bright, to just moisturize my face because it was feeling a bit dry. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and prime it now. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of my moisturizer and like apply it under my eyes just to like really hydrate underneath there. because when I put my concealer and my setting powder and stuff, like I don't want any dryness happening today, no. Now for today's foundation, um, I'm gonna be using my uh, House Labs in the shade 440 and I'll be using my makeup by Mar, wait, sorry, Mar, what? Girl, I can't talk. Makeup by Mario F4 brush to apply. Now, this foundation might seem a little bit light when I apply it, but once I like cream bronze and all that good stuff, trust me. Trust me, okay? Just a little bit here. Go in with a little more for my forehead. Alrighty, so I went ahead and applied some brown shadow to the crease just to add some depth to the eyelids. I went in with my Patrick Ta, as always. Alrighty, now moving on to the fun part. Now, um, unfortunately, I will not be able to use my fingertips or whatever to apply these. Um, I do have nails. How am I supposed to get into the like small corners of my eyes when I got these nails on? Hmm. So I will be using my makeup brushes to apply and We'll just keep patting and patting until I am pleased, okay? Hence why I didn't use my fingertips when I did the Patrick Ta video tutorial. I got nails. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this brush. This is the Morphe M167 brush, the infamous packer brush that I have. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. I'm gonna use the brush just to pick up this color. And hold on, did you guys see that? We, we don't have any glitter adhesive. We do not, okay? This, Danessa, oh my God. I want to scream. Look, 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 look. Oh my God. Yeah. A brush should be able to pick up the, the product, okay? And everything fingertip, fingertip, Danessa. Oh my goodness. You see, Danessa knows what she's doing. I love her palettes. 
there is one palette that I want and unfortunately it's not available. Well, last time I checked, I haven't checked in a while, but the last time I checked, um, us Canadians, <laughs> we weren't able to um, get our hands on it. Like we'd have to, like I'm talking about from Sephora because that's where I like to buy majority of my makeup. But um, I would have to go on the Danessa Myricks website to purchase it. But y'all, with the taxes, the shipping, the duties, all of that stuff, yeah, a palette came to a good arm and a leg. So, mm, yeah. I am literally patting this brush onto the palette or from the palette and onto the eyelids. Thinking about adding another color, actually two more. Let's, let me do the other eye real quick. Again, this is with no glitter adhesive. This is strictly from the palette onto the brush, onto my eyelid. Yeah. Now using the other side of the brush, the other side um i'm gonna dip it into oh child what color was it again i think i'm gonna dip it into this shade right here i'm gonna apply that in the inner corner opposite side of the brush i'm just gonna pack that on i'm honestly so in love And now I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills 18 flat brush. This is what I usually use to apply the glitter primer, but because we didn't have to, now I got this brush to use. Um, I'm gonna dip it into this cranberry shade up top right here. And I'm gonna place this in the outer corner, kind of like. Back in with the brush I used earlier to apply the brown, I'm just going to go into the crease. Let me grab the palette and just draw the colors together in the crease area. But I'm in love with the eyes. Mm. I also forgot to mention that it comes with this pouch as well. It's like the same size as this. So when you have the palette stacked up all together, you can just pop it into that pouch and you'll be good to go. But I don't remember where I put it. Anyway, that's all I'm gonna do with the eyes for now. If I feel like adding another color, I think I might, but I'm gonna leave it as is for now. This is so beautiful. This pop of orange is definitely giving me, you know, fall vibes <laughs> alrighty um time to move on i'm gonna go in with my cream bronzing i'm gonna do my concealer highlight under the eyes all that good stuff you guys know the drill i'm gonna go in with my bronzer first today and i'm just gonna use that and where the foundation is just to like blend out um, the bronzer because I don't want to drag it too close to my mouth. Just a little bit on the forehead. Concealer combo, my Pat McGrath and Too Faced. I'm gonna go with my Pat first. And I absolutely love the consistency of this concealer. It is so creamy, full coverage. It blends so well under the eyes. And it really works well with my Laura Mercier powder, loose powder that I use. Like this Pat McGrath is becoming, like easily becoming a favorite concealer of mine. Like I've had it for a while but i've been using like other concealers and i'm like hold on i got my pat, my pat mcgrath so let me pull her out and then chestnut these shades together yes ma'am
Now I am gonna use my brush to blend this out, but I'm gonna get my beauty sponge here. I gotta clean it, my Real Techniques, cause this one I'll be using to kinda blend the under eye right before I apply my loose powder. And this is what I'm gonna use to apply the loose powder because I don't know y'all, I, I think the puffs, they just don't work for me. I find that my puffs from Amazon, when I have a thin coating, ooh, what? Mm -hmm. I find that even when I have a thin coating of powder on my sponge or my puff, it picks up my concealer and then places the powder. Does anyone else have that issue or is it just me? So I don't have that problem when I use my sponge. So I'm gonna wet this up when it's damp, like it works so well with powders when I'm setting my under eyes, so. Yeah, start off with my chin. Back with this brush, the end that has the bronzer to help blend that out. Cause we don't want any harsh lines. <laughs> oh girl, my Laura Mercier is finishing well it was already at its last when i started using my other powders but now that i love and need her girl i need to get a new one so as always one eye at a time with the blending And then back in with the F4 brush, the bronzer end, just to marry the colors together here. Like, flawless. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Laura's that girl. I wanna set the rest of my face with, of course, the pressed powder. Um, so I recently received the Charlotte Tilbury Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. I have the shade 4 Deep. This is finishing powder. I'm not too sure how this shade will go or like work for me and my complexion like all over the face. I don't want anything that's gonna to be too dark. Um, otherwise, I'll just go in with my, my MAC Studio Fix in the shade NW45. So this is it right here. Okay, and this is not bad. I know on camera it looks a bit light, but trust me, it's not. Um, I'm gonna go in with this brush right here. This is a Japanese 718. And I'm just gonna press the brush. I'm gonna try just, okay. Okay, just wanted to make sure.
or maybe this could serve as a bronzing shade because it okay do you guys see that mark on my forehead right there I hope you guys can see right there because I accidentally applied it on top of the highlighted area so I think I might use this for my bronzer or as a bronzer instead this brush right here it's a powder brush also from Japanesque um, this was a brush that was actually sent to me um, so you guys can see like it has a clear handle we got the silver like neck holding the bristles and then the small dome fluffy type brush but now I'm going in with my Mac powder lightly go over the highlighted areas just to make everything come together nicely now I'm gonna go in with NC 50 for the under eyes just to like get rid of the subtle baking I was doing here I've tried other colors of this um, something lighter for the under eyes but honestly NC 50 is that girl for me like it just works so well under the eyes Alrighty, for today's blush combo, it's going to be a mix of these two. This is Juvia's Place Volume 1, and I'm going to go in with this shade here. I think I might add just a touch of this shade right here. I don't want it to be, like, too, too, too much on the cheeks. Okay, I only went in with this one. Hold on. Let me see how I'm feeling. Literally, look. That's it. Cause this is pigmented yeah I'll back with the bottom shade again you see how this side is more pigmented hmm. all right I think I'm gonna go in with a different brush to apply this shade so this is the morphe blush brush this is 400 and house labs fire moon blush i love this blush so much so this is just going to kind of like lighten it in a, in a bit in a way you know Um, y'all this setting spray combo gonna be a lot okay gonna be a lot let me just make sure I am happy with what I see I think I'm okay I'm happy with my eyes I was gonna I was thinking about adding another color do I let's double check if I add another color I'm trying to see I'm not even gonna hold you this shade right here is low-key calling my name just a little before I set um, this is an elf eyeshadow brush I'm dipping it into this pretty blue shade right here this is what it looks like on my finger focus oh that is so pretty Mm. yes ma'am okay as always morphe setting mist continuous setting mist and to lock this in my one size and i'm going in with l'oreal trust me these two together i mean you really and truly don't gotta be doing all of this when it comes to setting sprays but it's just a spray it's just a spray I want this makeup to be locked in and sealed and to be flawless, extra flawless. So going in with the one size first. I 
I have this Sephora eyeliner in the shade Tiramisu. This is the 12 hour colorful contour eye pencil. I've had this for a while. It's still in the packaging. If I can't, if it's too much, then I'm just gonna put on my Urban Decay color. I don't know if I wanna do a wing. Should I do a black wing? Um, should I do brown? Got it out. Ah, I don't know. I was thinking brown. Oh, girl, not not this stuck. I can't. It's stuck. It won't even turn, y'all. Okay, I cannot be bothered. Urban Decay is shade whiskey. Um, I am gonna go in with my black eyeliner though, just to pop this beauty mark or this mole that I have right here. And then the beauty mark on my nose. I have three of them on my nose in this area. I will only highlight one. Doing all three, that's gonna look uh, not so good with the makeup look, right? Mm -hmm. So for the liner on the top, um, lid, I'm not gonna do a wing, but this is from Kat Von D. This is the tattoo liner in the shade Mad Max Brown. Shake this up. I just need a thin line so that it can help to disguise the lash band. And it does not have to be neat either. Going in with this Hourglass Mascara. This is just for the top lashes, just to lightly coat them. And for my bottom lashes, I'm gonna use this uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex Chocolate Mascara. I love the chocolate brown on my bottom lashes. For lashes, my absolute favorite pair of lashes to wear, Lily Lashes in the style Miami. Let that focus. And for the adhesive, I like to go in with the one from Lily Lashes. I have two of them. One of them is old, I don't know which one is. Um, I just need to figure that out so that I can throw out the old one. But let me just take out my lashes and then I'm gonna quickly put those on. But this is what the face is looking like. It's, you know, it's coming together. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we are almost done. Now we gotta do these lips, um, but this is what the face is giving. It looks really, really nice, but first water break. For today's lip liner, I have the Sephora Molasses lip liner. I love it, okay? This was a go-to of mine earlier in the year. And I believe, is it retractable? Yes, it is. It's a retractable lip liner. It's a beautiful chocolatey type of brown, like, oh my gosh, it is everything. So I'm gonna line my lips with this today. Um, I have these two lip polishes from Max Lip Balms or Lip Glosses. I believe you can get these at the hair store in America. However, for my Canadian babes, I, I didn't see this at my Canadian hair store. Um, I had to purchase this off of the American Amazon. So Amazon.com, not Amazon.ca. Um, it comes in a pack of six, but you get, you end up getting 12. So you get two of each shade. I've had these for a little while, maybe like, 
I don't know, two months. And I said, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna put them to use today. Um, but I have I don't I don't plan on using both. I'm just gonna use one, but I don't know. I'm not sure which one. I think I'm gonna go in with this one. <laughs> Was that very telling? Ooh, this is And to add a bit more shine to this lippy, I'm gonna use the Ami Cole Lip Oil in the shade Bliss. I love, love this lip oil down. Three products today. All right, you guys, so this brings me to the end of today's video. This is the makeup look. Show y'all the lids. Danessa Myrick's Girl You Ate with that palette. I didn't use no glitter adhesive. I had it right here. I didn't even touch it. I love the pigment. I just love how rich this palette is. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. And I can't wait to play around in this palette again. I definitely want to play in like the purples and the blues. Oh, I can see it. But yes, you guys, this is the final look. All right, my love, so this brings me to the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really love how this look turned out. The eyes, they are definitely popping. That Danessa Myricks palette, I'll be keeping it very, very, very close in my makeup bag right here, especially because you can literally stack it. It will fit so perfectly in my makeup bag, so yeah. All makeup products used will be listed and linked down in the description box below. Please drop three orange hearts while you're at it. And I mean, since you're still watching, if you haven't already, you might as well hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell to notify whenever I upload a video so you never miss a video. Follow me on the gram, girl. Follow me on the gram at Tamara Renee. Follow me on TikTok at Tamara.Renee. And keep up with me on my blog at www.tamarene.com. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch y'all in my next video. Bye. Bye. Thank you.